Pocky had a reason to come to Arizona and take care of her beautiful friend down here in uh, beautiful Tucson. And uh, we're at Bentley's right now. It's a progressive uh, coffee shop uh, on the strip here at 4th Avenue. Been here a long time. It's like a hub and a convoluted spot, you know, in my mind, but I live in Phoenix on Tucson. So, uh, you know, we have a lot of issues, and I want to specifically say to the Northampton girls, uh, being right with Pocky at, at the moment, that anytime you want to come down to Arizona, we have a wealth and a plethora of uh, diverse, challenging issues, uh, basic issues, you know. We'll talk about just water, living, breathing, and a piece of land to live on. Uh, so uh, come down to Arizona. I have a beautiful spot in Phoenix. Or, uh, you know, we could do a camp out type thing on the Tohono O'odham land or the Yaqui, uh, which I would have to, you know, certainly uh, work very hard to get you down there, uh, and that's on the border of uh, Mexico, and it's uh, beautiful, and uh, show you the land, and do some action, and uh, we have the separation wall down there built by Israeli war profiteer, Elbit Systems, uh, and, uh, you know, people really need to come down and see it, and I try to talk to Congress members and staffers uh, whenever possible, and invite them out for a Liz reality tour of what's happening. So please, take me up on it. Um, summertime's really, really hard. So uh, be prepared for hot weather, and uh, but otherwise, come on down to Arizona. Manifesto. We have been one of the only occupies in the nation to maintain a continuous encampment. The police have rousted us from four different public parks, and a group of hard grounders have now taken up residence at the invitation of a homeowner, and they're undertaking home renovations energy retrofitting and upgrades to a historic home as a way of transferring those trade skills from the older generation to the younger generation and as a way of paying rent for the use of the property. Wow. Yeah. So why don't you explain what a hard grounder is? Is oh. that a word from Tucson? <laughs> that might be the, the ones who camp on the hard ground, the ones who are out in the tents are called hard grounders. Hard grounders. And so you're saying here it is, today is the 30th of April 2012, that you have not had a break in uh, camping. Occupy and camping, an Occupy camping since you began. October 15th. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that quite a feat? <laughs> Less racism and uh, more caring and mutual aid for each other as opposed to the ownership only society at everybody else's uh, you know uh, uh, you know uh, care. yeah right sorry and so that's where you know uh, we can't we have to stay vigilant it's like what I say about candidates you know the day they get elected in we've worked really hard if we like that person and the day they get elected in i like to go there and say hi my name is liz and i represent all these great people that aren't with me but you know here i am and you know uh this is what we expect and so we have a very strong uh, you know, burden, especially in Arizona, because the politics are so bad, and we are ground zero, zero for the experimental everything with regard to racism, voter rights, uh, corporate uh, ruination of our, our water systems, and everything, apartheid, everything's here. So as citizens, once we awaken, we have to do more because it is just so bad here. Speaking of doing more of this, would you be willing to run for office? <laughs> you are a great spokeswoman. Thank you. So, uh, you know, I think that uh, one day, yeah, I'd love to. One of these days coming right up. I'm helping clean election candidates right now 
and always, and for the past 10 years have. So basically, I'm helping Paul Newman secure re-election, Sandra Kennedy, and Marsha Bushing get elected. And uh, there goes a lot of work into that. Sure. You can't think of yourself when you're helping others. And, would make a great uh, I had a DUI person. in 2004, and it just has been torture in this state. Mm -hmm. I was targeted, and the police kept my license away for a long time because they could. Yeah. And so, you know, I'm glad to be in a place of living and giving. You know? Well, I think that also, I mean, talking about John Mc. Oh, McLean. Uh, no, John <laughs> McCain. McCain. Silly boy. Oh, what's his name? <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. Anyway, they have been at it for 20 years, but the peace movement is at least 2,000 years old. We have just as much time that we have been developing our strategies for peace. Yeah. And we have so much nonviolent communication. Uh, we have all this work with uh, people looking at domestic violence. And so I think that we have this, the, the skills now, if we could only get it to the masses, that we could transform the state, and it is a very important state. We need to go to solar energy. That's clear in the state. If we did that, we could get rid of the military-industrial complex. That's right. And so those are the powers we're up against, so we know we're not. You, you down here in Tucson, you great people that have been at this for so much longer than me, we've got Raytheon and Lockheed. They are, they get exemptions, and, and, and it's unfair the way the practices work and not pay taxes and all this, and then get to give like little kids a, a school book bags or whatever with Lockheed on it, and they did their part. And we don't like that. It's terrible. Even though it is something good and we couldn't give possibly a thousand book bags or whatever. So you've been at it for so long, and really every bit makes a difference. With You know, before I even was aware you were doing your thing, I met you all, and you know, it's come a long way. <laughs> it has. Right? It has. And then yeah, Occupy has this lovely office now. How do you yes, like being so here? I love it. This is what we're doing for May Day. We're doing gratitude bombs. Uh-huh. For those people, you know, who aren't able to take off uh, from their jobs. So we're going to let them know what we've got here. I, I take cards and reshape them into little gift boxes. Here this one is, um, this is a baby zebra from the Reed Park Zoo in Tucson. Can you see that? Yeah. And in there we have a Reese's peanut butter cup. And a little button. We are the 99%. <laughs> oh, I and didn't then a little, little, they are. yeah, a little flyer that tells how you can participate part time in Occupy. That you don't have to sleep in a tent to be a part. Oh, of can I give that to one of my friends? Jill? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh so, my gosh! Yeah, he told me just... he's not going to be able to. Uh, join the strike because the Tucson Symphony Orchestra is not striking. Oh, Jeff. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And he said he'll strike when everybody else does. He should grow. Huh? <laughs> yeah. I just made a comment about he should grow a pair. A pair? <laughs> talking about the laboratories and drone. Uh, mayor Stanton, a newly elected Democratic mayor who I'm extremely pleased with, he wrote a great article in the paper today about sustainability. Uh, he has mentioned, scarily, scary enough, that he wants Phoenix to get that drone uh, laboratory they're talking about. In Phoenix, that's District 4, Ed Pastor's district, and we will be resisting. Uh, you know, so it's good to know what our mayors are yeah. talking about and making these connections yeah, today. I, I engaged I, my mayor and city council on that issue. I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> I try, I try. Mary DeCamp is a one-woman team. She ran for mayor more than once, I believe. No, just mayor once and, and city something. council. Okay, and many other hats. So, you know, uh, I, if anybody, I don't even have to call Miss Mary DeCamp because I know <laughs> she and uh, 
uh, Libby and others are on the phone thinking the same thing I'm thinking, I'm sure. But you know, it's so nice to have that sense of um, solidarity and, and sharing that with such wonderful women. Because a lot of times I'll think, well, by golly, I'll do this for busy. <laughs> yeah, it is. It makes it personal, yeah. doesn't it? You, know, yeah. you think, oh, she's living down there in Phoenix. Yeah. You know, and I know that she's out, a bird dog and yeah. the legislators, and that's the least I can do down here is something yeah. to support. And that solidarity is the only there. thing that we have these days with yes. the system that's really in a rapid decline and the surveillance state that's in uh, high escalation and high pursuit of whatever imperialistic goals that we have to stick together. Yeah. Solidarity means everything. And, uh, you know, uh, your struggle has to be mine because we're together and we really have to really make good friends because uh, we're going to, this is a 10, 20, 30 year thing. We didn't get here overnight. John McCain, John Kyle have been in there <laughs> decades. <laughs> Over 20 years each, yeah. uh, and uh, mm -hmm. you know they're not the only one. Obviously, we talk about them because they're representing us poorly, or you know, we didn't get here overnight. So there's going to be an enormous amount of work and sacrifice. Alec and we has need been at it for decades. For decades. For uh, yep, and and we've got to adopt their practices of that grassroots organization. They're running more candidates. They can recruit people to step up, to run for office, and that's how they control our legislators, legislatures. So I want to start a legislative watchdog group here in Tucson as part of Occupy, Occupy the Arizona Legislature. Okay, you and let me know what you're doing. I'm already there. Just send me yeah, a note and I'll... you know the people. Yeah. And I love it when I go there now. I just take this sign everywhere and I just stand at the Capitol. I dress up and I put lipstick on them. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. when they beat yeah. me up, I, I can't wait. <laughs> I'm going to look good going down. And, yeah. and, and I, I just stand there and the police come and they say, Liz, what is Alan? And I say, guess what? Everybody here knows what Alec is. Why don't you go ask him or her? Or what? And, you know, I make him work a little. But, uh, you know, they all know. And I, they ju I just stand down there. It's the greatest thing. I take this sign everywhere. <laughs> it's beautiful. We went through the process. We took it to the GA. We asked for permission. We spelled out the justification for the office. We have been contacting individuals for monthly pledges to support uh, uh -huh. rent, and it's a heck of a deal. We pay $250 a month. We get our office space with free Wi-Fi. We get access to the courtyard and the conference room. It's in a beautiful, historic YWCA building. So our neighbors here are the progressive nonprofits, the people who are working for immigration rights and the environment and um, all sorts of um, economic issues. And well, you even have a congressperson here, don't you? We do. The head of the progressive Democrats. Democrats. Raul Grijalva is right downstairs. So we just happen to path, cross paths and bump into each other. And it is really a wonderful, wonderful setting. Yeah. Good work. So tomorrow is May Day. Yes. And uh, and you're involved in the happenings here. What's happening in, in Tucson for May Day? Yes. We're... we're um, Occupy Tucson is involved from early morning till late at night. Um, starting at 7.30, we're going to be at Armory Park helping to erect the chain link barricade fence around the event. Uh, then we are going to gather at Greyhound Parking Lot and rally there. And then at 10, we'll have a march from the Greyhound Parking Lot to Armory Park. And once we get to Armory, there's going to be speakers and games and activities and tables and outreach. And then on into the night, I think we're even planning on having a movie after dark there. Ah, uh -huh. great. So, so what, are, what are the issues that, that Occupy Tucson has really rallied around and, and mobilized around? 
immigrant rights, Mexican-American studies, uh, union jobs. We've been there to support the Pima Area Labor Federation, the postal workers as they threatened to shut down Cherry Bell Station. We've added uh, our voice to the call for peace and divestment of war spending, redirect that to home channels. We've done that uh, by joining a weekly rally down at the federal building. Um, Homeless issues. Oh yes, the, you know, the we, eviction. Yes, there's just been so many homeless people who have joined Occupy and we feel that they need the right of uh, housing as a human right. Absolutely. Education, the oh, and a lot of anti-ALEC um, engagement. We've sent a delegation up to Phoenix uh, when ALEC was uh, having their conference there, their general meeting. Um, we've sent delegations off to Olympia. Um, we've had outreach to many different Occupy schools.